Today we're setting up the sensors on the Holley Terminator X, so stick around. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the garage and if you missed the video where we first started the big block she's up and running and as I said in that video I've got a couple sensors left to, to set up yet and that's the uh, manifold air temp, the oil pressure, and the fuel pressure. Well now all of those are installed. If we come over and take a look I've kind of got a temporary elbow in here and just ignore that. I've got that RTV in just so I can get in mat. Uh, this will all end up being replaced. Then we've got a fuel pressure and then of course our oil pressure is down there of course the oil line that was going to the mechanical gauge is what touched up against the header and so we've ran it down along the back side of the block plenty of clearance down there now we've got to set these up and these are just 100 psi uh, transducers that are being used for the pressure so i'm going to walk through setting all this up let's pull up the laptop and take a look at it Okay, hopefully the 3D printer in the background is not too noisy. I'm sorry, in the middle of printing some parts off for the Nova. Uh, so we're just going to shoot this and hopefully the audio turns out. I've got our file that we have loaded up right now uh, pulled up in front of us here. We're going to go into our sensor settings here. And as I said beforehand, we're using the internal one bar map sensor. We'll leave that as is. And then our coolant temp sense is actually a GM. Uh, apparently I didn't have that set up right in the previous tune. Good catch on that. Manifold air temp, that's a GM also. So we can go ahead and set that one up as an LSMAT. Now our oil pressure and fuel pressure is where it changes a little bit. We're going to come down to custom pressure on these. And we have a span of 0.5 to 4.5. So we need to come in here and update these 0.5. And we'll come out to 4.5. And it may not like it. Okay, it's already adjusted it. And let's highlight all these rows. That's what I hate about this is it's hard to tell whenever you're highlighting these rows down here. And then let's do fill row values. And then we're going 0 to 100 PSI. And it should be linear. So we'll have to do the same thing. Highlight all these rows, fill row values, and see we don't have a linear. That's because this one down here is not highlighting properly. Come on, work with me, Holly. There we go. You can see the cursor moving with the pointer. Now, there we go. Now we've got a linear ramp for our 0 to 100 from 0.5 to 4.5 volts. We're going to do the same thing on our fuel pressure. Come over here, custom pressure. Go ahead and bump this to 100. Select all these rows. you got to be very careful. If the mouse moves outside of the table, it wants to mess that up. And we'll do 0.5 to 4.5. Come on, work with me. There we go. And now we've got our linear table. So before we get out of here though, we need to look at some of our other settings. Let's go into sensor scaling and warning and we'll come underneath here. We'll go under oil. This is oil pressure. It's already set up to zero to hundred up here. But let's go ahead and change our display max to 100 PSI. We'll say yes, use the minimum, and then we'll say caution max, maybe 80. And then actually normal max 80, and then we'll go caution max 90 on there. Then we'll go on the low side, minimum it's a zero. And we'll say normal minimum 25, caution minimum. Actually, let's take this up to 30. We got a high flow oil pump, and we'll say caution 25. And now we've got some scaling in there that'll show up whenever we're looking at our gauge display. And we'll do the same thing for our coolant temperature sensor. This goes out to 260, negative 40 to 260 is a good range, but once again, our display max is too high. So let's take this up to 260. And then we'll say 230 and 240. Boom. So we got a little on there. Just rinse and repeat, set these to how you want them. And you know, on fuel pressure, I'm not worried about max so much as min. So let's say if we get below 35, we want it to be in the zone. And then below 30, we definitely want an alarm on that. 
then you can set these up for other things also but just double check like your battery 20 volts that's fine manifold air pressure 105 that's fine but manifold air temp obviously 999 too high so let's bring this out to about 160 and then we'll say normal max is 110 and then 115 is where we're cautioned because this is naturally aspirated so We've got these set up now. We're going to go ahead and save these as a new file. Let's do save global file as. And we're going to do smoke monster sensor update. And let's go load this in real quick. Okay, now that we've key cycled it, we can go ahead and use the USB link to get live values. And we'll pull up our gauges here. So fuel pressure sitting at 50 PSI. That's pretty much spot on. I'm showing 52 PSI. Air temp 61 degrees. I'm showing 58 degrees in here, so might be a little bit warmer over there. Manifold air pressure is good. And of course, we don't have oil pressure right now because the car is not running. Uh, yeah. Now, last but not least is going to be our coolant temp. We're showing 73 degrees on that, so we're probably good there also. So it looks like we've ever got everything coming in. I'll double check the oil pressure the next time we fire it up, make sure that everything looks good. And in fact, we could probably go ahead and pull the uh, injector control and crank it over. Let's do that real quick. There we go. Just took the oil pressure a little time to build. We're showing about 55 on crank. I'm happy with that, so rock and roll. So a nice quick video on just setting up auxiliary sensors on your Terminator X. Pretty straightforward, double check the gauges, things like that. But as long as you know the voltage versus the output of the sensor, you can go in on custom and always set it up there. About any sensor that you can buy, even these uh, 100 PSI cheapies that are about 30 bucks. Sorry, Holly, I ain't spending $110 for your model. They come with a data sheet that shows you that it is 0.5 to 4.5 linear, 0 to 100. So you could go a little bit more in depth and actually do two point calibration, things like that on there, but there's really no need to. As long as they're reading within a PSI or so, you're good to go. Gives you something, peace of mind, things like that. So I got plenty to do. I'm going to get back to it. You guys know the drill. Thanks for stopping by the garage. ABT, always be tuning.